This is CryptoTube, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are looking at Engine Coin. This is an Ethereum ERC20 token that puts gaming on the blockchain. This brings with it a whole host of advantages, including the integration of smart contracts. Now, the gaming industry is a billion dollar industry and one you do not want to be sleeping on. This actually allows, Engine Coin allows for the creation, buying and selling of in-game collectible assets through their own marketplace. They have already established a community of 19 million gamers and are across 300,000 games. So very impressive numbers. It is listed on the Crypto.com Syndicate event with 50% off starting next Tuesday, the 23rd of June. So let's take a little deep dive today and see if it's worth getting involved with that and picking up some cheap engine coin. So Engine Coin is ranked number 57 on Coin Market Cap, has a market cap of around $140 million and a circulating supply of 821 million coins. The fixed total supply is 1 billion. That is the maximum that there will ever be. So we are 82.1% of the way there, which is pretty good. In terms of markets, it is across all the major exchanges which is just what we want going into a new altcoin cycle, as this allows for maximum exposure to a maximum number of people for that price discovery. So in a good position, nice market cap, not too big as of yet. It's in a billion dollar industry. Therefore, there is definitely room to grow with Engine Coin. So this is the Engine website, the gold standard for digital assets. It's somewhere where game developers can really make lucrative amounts through developing games and creating in-game assets. Now, there's a lot of benefits for using the blockchain rather than, you know, a typical in-game purchase. There's a lot of scams that go around for in-game purchases. A lot of people get ripped off and the items can be stolen. By having them on an immutable blockchain, you actually get ownership of the assets once you make an in-game purchase. And all of them are backed with the engine coin. So they have a value there. There's a bit of consumer trust. It says owners can melt the assets back into engine, increasing confidence in the assets and faith in the projects that offer them. So each asset does have a value. We'll have a look at the marketplace in a bit. So for example, say there's like a suit of armor that you can buy and it's worth a thousand engine. You can melt it down. That is at a slightly reduced market price of less 10%. So it'll be 900 engine that you get back. But in this way, even if you maybe got sick of a game or sick of the, some of the purchases you made, you can actually melt them back and get some of your funds back, or 90% at least. You can also trade on there as well and sell your items for greater than the market value, which is pretty cool as well. Um, you can get certified authenticity. So the engine stored within assets proves their origin and guarantees their compatibility within the engine ecosystem. You can also move items across different games and platforms. It has real world value, so the perceived value of digital assets is directly correlated with the engine backing, making engine an effective gold standard. The fact that it's, it's capped at 1 billion total supply does mean that these assets are likely to go up in value over time as well. So it's a pretty interesting concept. Currency within a currency, if you will. Asset scarcity, so when existing assets are melted, scarcity increases, thereby lowering the supply and increasing their value. So you've got fungible tokens, so those ones that can be replicated. So you could have, say, 100 suits of armor, or you can get non-fungible tokens, which are unique assets. So, for example, there are some really strange ones on here, but let's just make up one up. Say we can make up a Genghis Khan character, make him one of one. He is non-fungible, there can only be one. He has certain you know, makeup on the actual engine blockchain that certifies who he is. Every time he's traded and transacted, there is a history of that. And you can see which prices he was traded to and against which wallets and things like that. So everything is totally transparent on the engine uh, chain, which is powered by Ethereum. Tangibility, so unlike other digital assets, tokens backed by Engine are created with something of a value and can be destroyed anytime. Anti-inflation, and then be, that's just going over the point I just made, that because there are a limited number of them, 
you know, you can actually create assets that are going to go up in value over time. They also use the ERC-1155, so 1155. This is a new token standard, uh, cutting edge of Ethereum, and this allows for fungible and non-fungible non tokens to be created. So unlike other ERC um, standards, you can only have either fungible or non-fungible tokens. This one allowed for both. So Engine was the first platform to utilize this and are using it for obviously those in-game assets. So this is the platform and it has some of the you know benefits of running this on a blockchain. It says in traditional multiplayer games, assets like characters and weapons are only stored on game servers and have value just inside the game. However, this dynamic shifts with blockchain as the value is both within and outside of the game. Opens up a new world of opportunities for you to explore and evolve your game's mechanics, storytelling, monetization, and marketing. And then in terms of marketing, imagine thousands of players owning your characters, weapons, or vehicles months before you've even written the first line of code. So this is Beam. You can actually kind of airdrop um, in-game items to Beam users and then therefore you will create a kind of buzz before the game is even released. So this is just a new way of marketing uh, products and services through the engine platform. In terms of monetization, it says in real life, if you create a sword, you would use steel. In a virtual world powered by engine, digital swords are created with engine coin, a crypto with a real life value. Every game asset is forged with engine coin facilitates better game monetization fueled by a combination of player-driven economies, trading fees, immutable trust, and programmable crowdfunding. And you can integrate this using their APIs and their platform SDKs. So this is the wallet, a full mobile wallet for Engine. As you will see, Samsung's branding is on there. If we remember back in March of 2019, this huge spike was when the Samsung partnership was announced. And what happened was Samsung actually integrated the engine wallet into their Samsung S10 model. And I think from there, every, every iteration forward has engine already preloaded in there. So this is obviously a real major coup for them. Um, and it's going to drive that adoption because a lot of people use Samsung, a lot of people game, put two and two together. You've got a nice recipe there. Also, there is dual encryption, NSA-grade cryptographic layers, proven security, and one of the things someone brought up recently was key logging, and they've actually built a protection for key logging as well, so your passphrases remain safe. So this is downloadable via Google and Android. They've got over half a million downloads already, so you can use the... Beam application, you can scan QR codes on there, you can see your items and store them on your mobile as well as in the game. So let's take a look at Beam then, supercharge your marketing, rapidly expand and engage your audience with digital rewards embedded within QR codes. So some of the companies that have actually used Beam are Microsoft and Microsoft Azure Heroes and their collectible badges. You've got some of the games, so this was Forgotten Artifacts. Beam allowed me to instantly send a blockchain item to new audiences who were then able to immediately use it in the Forgotten Artifacts game. That's one of the games on Engine, as is this one, which is called Nine Lives. We wanted to give some special in-game items to both to our booth visitors at GDC 2019. Beam helped us distribute rewards both on the spot and online to our community members. So they've got a load of references down here, but the endless possibilities of what you can do with this by airdropping in-game items and creating a type of you know hype around your game before it's launched or having a big release like we're releasing the best suit of armor tomorrow everyone's going to have a buzz around the game and especially in you know today's world where a lot of kids are permanently you know face on a screen with either mobile tablet or their laptops uh, you can see the power of this industry so the final piece of the website I want to show you is the actual marketplace. They also have their products on third-party marketplaces such as the games websites as well, but this is the main engine marketplace. 
you can see a whole list of items that are currently for sale. Different values, 450 engine, 180 engine, 8,200, let's click on him. So if we look at this character on the marketplace, Eratus number five, if you go down, you can actually see how many there are. There are three in supply of this guy. He has this kind of reserve value of 6,000 engine, which is over a thousand bucks, can you believe? And he's currently for sale for around 8,200 engine. So above market price, that's what someone's trying to sell him at around $1,400. So you can see how money is really moving on here. Over 5 million engine have been spent on in-game collectibles thus far. So pretty incredible stuff. You can see all the transfers that he's previously gone through, so different owners and the market activities. You can see his previous prices. So this is a full market um, that we have here and it interacts directly through the mobile wallet as well. So pretty fascinating stuff. And this paves the way for more in-game collectibles, but on top of that, just other NFT assets. So for example, on here, you can search, there is a Tupac Shakur, the, the rapper. Someone's created him on there. He has a value. You can imagine how baseball cards, for example, could be made as NFTs and sold on here. There could be major economies within this marketplace. So I think this is one of the things to look out for, uh, for things to come on the engine marketplace. In terms of virtual goods, then you can actually create other currencies that can be used within a game. So, for example, you can use the engine coin to mint these new currencies and then they would be workable on your actual game itself so these would interconnect entire ecosystems and it would allow for assets to be transferred anywhere on the platform so even across different games because they're all built on engine you could transfer the assets across so they have multi-function on top of this as well this recent tweet was pretty impressive as a company we've evolved in tandem with minecraft and minecraft is a huge online game i'm sure you've know like nieces nephews brothers sisters or grandkids kids that use and play minecraft it's super popular been around for a long time anyway they have their own plugin so it's called engine craft and this is another real good marketing strategy to go down go in and you know position yourself alongside the big players in the gaming industry get them to adopt your kind of way of working and incorporate that within their game. So this is a really great sign and I'm hoping more to come on this kind of path. So Engine is on the Syndicate, 50% off on June 23rd. Maybe this video has helped you decide, yes, you do want to buy some Engine coins and try and get them off at half price, or maybe you've decided, not really for me. Either way, this is next Tuesday, 23rd of June. You do have to have CRO coins staked. Minimum staking requirement is 10,000. If we look at previous syndicate events, though, they have been recently around 30 times oversubscribed. So if you do stake your 10,000 coins, you're likely to get a maximum allocation of around 3% only of the coins that you subscribe to the syndicate event. Therefore, you may want to go down the route of just buying some CRO, holding it or staking it, and then at a later date selling it because it does go up in value when these syndicate events come round, it usually rallies a few days before and going into the actual swap period. So there is this engine syndicate on the 23rd and then the following week on the 30th of June, they have a huge BTC syndicate of $2 million as well. So I think CRO price is gonna rally. So if you want to make an easy few Satoshis, a good percentage here, buy into some CRO and the price will continue to go up. There are just simply more buyers than sellers in this market, and it's been shown time and time again. Um, so it's an easy way to stack some sats, guys. So in terms of engine, I think it's a very good product. You can see they've got a marketplace, they've got Beam integrated, they've got a lot going on, and it's a good way for not only the game developers to further monetize, but for the end users, the gamers, to actually use things that can be used across platform and across different games. There's more benefits. On top of this, they can actually unlock items within the games and then sell them on the marketplace. So you could actually fundamentally make um, more of a living 
from gaming, which is pretty incredible and one reason to like tell your parents, no, it's fine, mum, I just made some money selling this sword I earned. Engine does have first mover advantage in this industry now, and I think that is a key component to its success. And then finally, what we need for Engine to really take off is one marquee big game. You know, your next Fortnite coming out on top of it, or maybe one of the biggest streamers out there to actually go ahead and be backed by Engine and to promote it. And I think once that happens, we're going to see a lot of interest in Engine Coin. And the more usage it gets, the more coins that get locked up, the higher the price is going to go. I do believe this is going to be at least a billion dollar market cap coin at some stage, but how long, who really knows. So that is my two cents on this project. If you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys, I'll bring out weekly content for you to enjoy. Thank you for watching and goodbye.